Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video, or another episode of talking about the five stages of grief. Last time we discussed the stage anger. This time we're going to be talking about um, bargaining. I almost said the wrong one. So every time someone goes through something, like, uh, like a loss of any kind, not every person does this, but a lot of people will try to reason and find ways to get what they lost back. Let's say like a pet dog, for example. And the dog goes, I don't know, out in the street and gets run over or something. Um, probably, the, some people would actually, if you're given the right person, would probably try to bargain with like, I don't know, make a deal with the devil to try to raise, like, bring this dog back from the dead or something. Now, because of how illogical this particular stage is, not everyone, is like a 50-50 roll on whether somebody actually does it or not. Personally, I don't. Um, I don't, I have felt lost before. It was a long time ago, but... I can I can definitely at least confirm that I don't hit the stage of bar bargaining. Um, in fact, I don't technically hit anger either, at least not often. But when it comes to bargaining for those who do, it's mainly the the psychology behind it is that they just they lose sight of reason and rhyme and just kind of are desperate to have what they lost back. It's sad, but it's very understandable. Um, it's sad in a way where, like, it makes you feel bad for the person. It's understandable, though, because, I mean, if you were to lose something that helped keep you going it's something that you would mentally need, then you're going to want to have it back in some sense. If not, you know, to the fullest. But that can sometimes be very complicated. If I ever lost this dork, I'd be in the stage of denial forever. That was two stages ago. Two uh, videos ago. Well, sorry. This is bargaining. Well, I bargained with you until you started breathing again. Well... With anyone. I was gonna say you'd be if you were if if you were to lose me and you started bargaining with me, you'd be I, bargaining I with mean, the corpse. I, I'd much rather switch my soul with yours to keep you alive. Okay. I don't care if that's cheesy. I you already know I don't either. I love you. Love you too. But I guess that reaction is kind of a prime example of where the mindset of people who um, bargain to get what they lost back goes to. Usually does come from the denial stage. Um, denial leads to any kind of desperate like reaction. You'll deny what you're going through, like we talked about in the first video, and then you'll immediately go to the... If you, if you hit this stage, again, not everyone does, but if someone were to, there's it means their psyche mindset is pretty much going, um, what can I do to get what I lost back? I can't have lost it. I can't, I can't, I can't. It's like right, it's kind of the first, it's the in-between point of denying what happened and accepting what happened. That's why it's the third of five stages. It's where your mind really starts to accept the fact that it's gone, but wants to find a way to make it so it's not actually gone. This stage can be approached in different ways. It's kind of the reason why the second stage, anger, has like a 25% chance of getting hit, get, getting to its point by those who actually hit um, the stage of 
my brain's going my brain's farting a lot this part this particular stage bargaining uh the other uh, another 25 percent is just that people get angry and pin it on others and then skip all the other stages and be stuck there the other 50 percent is that same concept of the last one i said but it'll skip to acceptance but i digress those who do bargain it usually lasts a while for some and then it'll usually last it's kind of one of those things where there's one end and the other end but there's no center You'll either, it'll either last a very long time or it'll last an extremely short period of time, depending on the person. Or it just won't happen at all. Bargaining is definitely an interesting phase to think about. As I said before, it does kind of make me feel for those who do end up suffering through that stage. I'm going to use the term suffering because I feel like it's, in this case, very necessary. Anyways, that's the stage of bargaining. Do you guys have any thoughts on that yourself? If so, let us know in the comments below. Want to check out any others of the five stages of grief videos that have been done so far, whether it's anger or denial? Why not click the link on the side of my head here where the train will take you, our nostalgia train will take you over to that. Um, or if this kind of stuff isn't quite flowing your boat, why not check the link on the other side where YouTube will give you probably a better idea of what might suit you a bit more. In the meantime, I'm going to head off. Thanks for tuning in for this video, guys, and we hope to see you all in another. See you guys later.